I'll definitely play a spooky game. More likely, it won't be a VR. It'll be like an action game like Silent Hill or Dead Space or whatever. Alien Isolation or one of those. One of those things. Do you get motion sickness IRL? If not, you should probably just have to practice VR to get over motion sickness. Um, it's like a time limit thing. Like, Beat Saber, I can play for hours. VR chat, I have about like... Two or three hours before I start getting dizzy. The dependent on the game. I don't really get motion sickness in life too much. I don't think. <laughs> I could go on roller coasters fine. And I could go on boats fine. Oh, but I oh uh, I'm really easily sick in cars though. I hate I said this before. I hate riding in cars. When I ride in a car, it drains all my energy from me. It drains it drains my my being. It it's it just drains me so hard. I don't know why cars, but like I get car sickness so easily. I don't know why car sickness specifically, but trains are fine, planes are fine. I don't get motion sick in planes. Like if there's like turbulence, I'm totally fine. I will sleep through turbulence. <laughs> like I remember I remember being on a plane, sleeping, and then turbulence is happening and I was like half conscious and I was like, huh, the plane's shaking, huh? Okay, this is it. Okay. We, I guess. Uh, mm, 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 mm. It's gonna go back to sleep or something. So, I can sleep through turbulence pretty easy. I don't know why it's cars, but cars... Car smell sucks. It might be the smell. Because... I think it, I think it's a combination between car smell and stuff. Because when I was in a car... Like, I was in a taxi with four moko... And they gave me a mint, and the mint really helps the car sickness. So like, maybe it is the chemical smell of the car, or something like that. Because like, the mint really helped with car sickness for me. Stinky. I have a sensitive nose. So if you are stinky, I can tell. Sniff, sniff. I get a whiff of you and 